All right, we are back, and guess what I named the ship? The SS Piggles. Of course, in respect of my close and personal friend, Mr. Fourteen. <clears throat> the SS Piggles is a ship that runs completely on adventurous spirit. If it runs out of fuel, it will violently explode using the fuel from the second fuel tank. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what it does. So in the name of adventure, we are going to save, exit, and go into the space stage. Converting mass. Conserving. What, you, what mass are you conserving? Processing Imperial Influence Map. I, I just love these loading screens. They just get so weird. So, so with the death of that cat, we have successfully crafted, crafted our spaceship. The SS Piggles. Fly free, fly fast, and fly for adventure. This thing actually looks pretty cool. Liftoff! You've successfully developed a ship capable of spaceflight. The heavens beckon, the cosmos await. The universe is at your fingertips. If you can learn how to fly this thing. Yes, we must first learn to fly. Now, although we can skip the tutorial, I will do it for your sake. <clears throat> Alright, that's the spirit. Each each city on planet Raxlon has launched a giant orb in celebration of our first spaceship. Really, you can't miss them. Take your ship on a spin and around the planet and fly through seven of our cities. Fly through the orbs to break them. Once we have finished, we'll give further instructions. Good luck, and try not to scratch the paint. I'll be back soon. So, that's our mission. You can read it. I'm not reading that for you. We just have to fly down to go into that orb. Really? Alright, now the next city. Orb. Now you scroll up and down to uh, gain or lose altitude, and use WASD to fly. See? You can also right click to fly. Like, say, holding right click, you'll fly in the direction your mouse is pointing. So that's another way to fly, but I'm more of a WASD, so I can use my mouse freely. Uh, also, if you click on a city, you will fly to it. Which really helps if you're, like, trying to find orbs. There's another one. There we go. Mission complete. Now we have another message, open up communication. Good job, cadet. With flying like that, you'll make captain in no time. As you can see, he talks. So what do you want me to do next? Now that you're an ace at flying, we're ready for you, you to use some of that so sophisticated tools we've invented for your spaceship. We've been working on the ability to scan the planets and animals to discover, you discover in your travels. Looks like this tool comes with comes in just the nick of time. The Sporopedia record is one of our own animals recently became corrupted at the same time an animal started being exhibited small symptoms. What? Alright, I'm gonna just sum that up because I really don't feel like reading all this because this is a lot to read. Uh, plus I'm not reading the whole space stage because there's a lot of text and I'm just not reading all that. Alright, so I just gotta go over here and our scanner will tell us to scan these guys. So we click on our scan tool. Click on them, and scan them. Now, according to what he's saying... We need further examination of these beings that have, that are, that have odd symptoms. So we use our abduction beam to suck them up. Okay. See, your abduction beam. You can pick up pretty much anything ranging between animals to trees. Those little plants, that those big plants, and those giant trees. We can pick up any of those. We could probably. Nope, we can't take it. But yeah, so you can just pick up random like anything. And in the process of that I kinda picked up a tree, so I like let go so I would not like suck up the tree. But then I accidentally let go of the animal at the same time. So, yeah. So it says we have to drop it off at Keridon. Where's... Keridon? Oh! 
Oh, okay, it doesn't matter what city. So let's just drop it off here. Once we drop it off within the city, just click on it, and then we click an area, and it'll just drop it down. I think I just killed it. Or not, they just killed it the second it dropped in. Alright, now with further examination, it we found out that it's an ecological disease. So basically, to prevent this from spreading and wiping up and like making the ecosystem unbalanced, we are going to wipe wipe them out. Or at least wipe out the ones that have the disease. Because how can it how can a genetic disease spread if, you know, yeah. That, you're gonna be getting into that later. Like, you're gonna be figuring out that when you... that there are going to be, like, ecological disasters where you have to wipe out people of, like, certain species. So yeah, this isn't the first, this isn't the only time we're gonna be doing this. Also, we ranked up! Congratulations! You have earned the badge and title of Captain. My collections, that's where you can view your mission log, your badge collection, tool collection, and rare collection. All of your collections are here. This is where you get your tools. See, colonization tools. There's a colony and credit pack, the bioprotector, biostabilizer, loyalty booster, happiness booster, spice storage, and uber turret. All of those we have at a reduced price, if we're able to buy them. Apparently we're only able to buy the colony and credit pack. Alright, now we have to fly to another planet. So we just pr close the minus wheel, the minus button, and by pressing that you'll automatically leave the planet. Now, for a quick sec, let me save because I forgot to do that. So if you're seeing the video start from this point, that means that that means that I've had to do another take of this, because I thought the last one was shit. And I kinda think this one's a little shit. Uh, okay, we fly to this planet. By the picture, this planet has no animals and it's plants only. How it's how it's sustained with only plants is strange. Something is showing up on the ship's radar. This happens a few times, so you're not gonna see this often. Just because something pops up on the radar doesn't mean the screen's gonna, like, pan over to it. It's a crashed spacecraft! And it's emitting a strange radio signal. Fly to it and use the scan tool to investigate the crash site. Hmm. Maybe we should investigate. So, yeah, this is pretty much flying on planets, and that's my abduction beam. Scan. Scan, 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 scan. Now upon scanning... Aliens. But no signs of life. And... I keep burping. It looks like they drew some type of cryptic map before they died. Wait, the wreck has triggered a, trans a transfer beam. Some items are coming on board. Oh my god! Ah! Doesn't seem that it damaged us. Yet, missiles and an interstellar drive, which seems to have an unknown which seems to have unknown star coordinates programmed into it. The wreck's damage looks like it came from a flight from a fight. The ship must have been sent from some planet to from some other planet to get help. They were trying to find us! Well guys, I'm um, sorry to say, but you missed by a few feet. Or, rather, a few... EUs. But really, who's counting? The interstellar drive from the wreck is responding to a beacon from a nearby star that matches the coordinates in its memory. This must be the home planet, and maybe still need- they may still be needing help. Hmm. Let's go save them. Maybe we can get some allies out of this. Uh, what's the planet? It says go to Sandora. Alright. Sando... Sandonara. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, it's reacting. 
something is showing up on the ship's radar. And according to the scanners, this. Too late. These ruins must be what's left of the home colony of the aliens from the wreck. Scanning these ruins may reveal clues to what happened here. I guess we're not getting those new friends. Good darn. Scan those ruins, and it shows that the scan came up with nothing. But it seems to have triggered a response. Some activity is showing up on the radar. What? Scanar? Scanar? The radar says... The scan must have triggered the colony's defenses. These drones don't look fam friendly. Wait. An incoming transmission. Warning. Grox intruders detected. All Grox intruders will be terminated. Grox. Initiating self-defense code Grox 999. All Grox intruders will be terminated. We're not Grox. Warning, all Grox intruders will be terminated. For the last time, we are not Grox! Ugh, doesn't look like they're listening to me. So, I guess we're going to have to kick their ass with Proton Missile. So, basically, you target someone with a Proton Missile and then hold button to win. Hold left click to win. That's basically how the Proton Missile works. Alright! Not even close, baby! That was a neat, pretty easy victory. Alright, mission accomplished. Return to your homeworld. Now, if we had the special ability Shaman, then we would be able to use Return Ticket, and we would constantly- and we'd instantly teleport to our home planet, no matter where we are in the universe. Oh my god, is that really what I think it- We are going there! <laughs> but, sadly, I'm a scientist. So instead, I have this cool weapon called the Gravitation Wave. Destroys all structures on the planet. They're not kidding. Mission accomplished! We knew we weren't alone in the galaxy! Traces of an extinct civilization, hostile security drones, and the Grox. It's obvious, it's obvious that we must continue our exploration of the galaxy and, potential, and, and potentially prepare for hostiles. In order to do so, we'll need the help of colonies as bases of operation. Our scientists have, are already reverse engineering the interstellar drive to replicate its technology. We've also developed an ST SETI device on your ship. It will pick up signals from other sentient life in the galaxy, indicated by radio signals over stars that you target. We need your we need you at the helm of our space program, Captain. Alright, I'll do it. <laughs>